Hello. So today we are going to be looking at the several shortcuts available to us here in Adobe Illustrator. You will notice that whenever you hover around an object, it kind of gives you the shortcut of the object. For example, the zoom tool, once you type Z, it takes you to zoom. When you type H, it takes you to hand. When you type E, it takes you to something else. <laughs> if you type A, it takes you to direct selection too. If you type Y, it takes you to magic one too. So, but there are several other available shortcuts in Adobe Illustrator. So once you click on edit, scroll down to keyboard shortcuts, you will see hundreds of shortcuts here. These are not the only one here. Once you click on this drop down and select menu commands, you'll be seeing several other shortcuts available to even some other functionalities included in the menu command. So on the file, you can see control N for new documents. If you want to create a new template, you can use shift control N and several of them. So once you scroll down, you can begin to get acquainted to some of these shortcuts. Of course, you may not know everything at heart, but as time goes on, as you continue to practice and tr practice and practice, you will get acquainted to some of these uh, tools. So that is basically it. Once you select Adobe Default, you can see several other stuff here. Of course, you can also create your own commands, right? So let me go back to tools. If I want to give, like you can see, the app doesn't have any shortcut or symbol, right? So if I want to assign a shortcut or assign a symbol to the app, first of all, I have to ensure that that particular command is not already existing because you wouldn't want to have any conflict when you when it comes to selecting shortcuts or symbol. So if I have that selected, I, I want to give it control question mark or rather let me give it shift question mark. So once I click shift question mark, you kind of see it gives it the shortcut of shift and then it gives it the symbol of question mark, right? Let me undo that. Let's say I, I pick shift C. For example, I can see that my anchor point is already shift C. If I if I click shift C, you can see it kind of throws up a warning here, right? And I wouldn't want to use the same shortcut for several other things. So I'm going to clear that. Let me use shift question mark. So I have this. Once I have this already available, I can decide to save it by clicking OK. Once I click OK, I can decide to give it a name. I can name it Act 2 right and click ok once that is done once i hover on the arc you can see that my arc is now giving shift question mark can you see that right so if i want to go to my arc i can click shift question mark and now it launches me to my arc you can see that let me change the outline color to yellow so that we can see it so you can see my arc takes the form of shift question mark so I'm going to select everything, holding my shift key, selecting multiple objects. If you want to select multiple objects, just hold your shift key and select those objects. Multiple objects will get selected and then you can delete by clicking your delete key on your keyboard. Alright, so that's it. Let's just experiment one of the notable shortcuts that we are going to be using and that will be zoom too. For instance, if I have this particular shape selected and I want to zoom into this shape alone, I can use the shortcut Ctrl equal to. When I click on Ctrl equal sign, it will zoom into the area of that particular selected object and if I code Ctrl minus, it will also zoom out. Ctrl equals, it will zoom into control minus if you zoom out zoom in control equal sign zoom out control minus I can pick this particular area I can zoom in control plus zoom out control minus you will see this particular shortcut coming handy in the near future when you'll be doing a lot of things and you you wouldn't want to just select your zoom tool and click and drag of course there are several other ways to do this particular thing you can select your zoom tool you click and drag within a region control zero to zoom to fit click and drag to select multiple region 
control zero to fit so you can see all these shortcuts comes in handy when you are working and you see yourself interchanging from one particular functionality to the other of course if i zoom into a particular object i can decide to also pan through the object if i click on my hand to i can pan through the object to see several other things that is going on on my shape right and i remember i can select a particular area and control equal sign to zoom into that object and if i want to pan i can use the shortcut h to now pan through the object to see what is going on in some other area of my object i hope this help control zero to fit again yeah I believe you have been equipped with a lot of functionalities in Adobe Illustrator. So take out your time, explore the shortcuts and see several ones that you can you know, memorize as you walk, as you advance in this course, you begin to see some of these shortcuts come in handy. I'll also be telling you the ones that I use for you to also embrace them as you want. You can also come up with the ones you want. Of course, you can. let's go ahead and delete what we created. You go back to edit, keyboard shortcut. Arc, I have it selected and I'm gonna clear it. Once I clear it, it's gone. And I can click and I can click OK. And I can overwrite it if I want to. Yes, so that is gone. So right now I wouldn't have that shortcut again. If I click shift, question mark, nothing happens again. So you can decide to you know change the shortcut of a particular tool and give it to another. You are free to do that. Alright, see you in the next video.